good morning today in the complete hemodialysis series yet another topic an important one also alarms in the hemodialysis machine which is required for a resident doctor or even for a nephrology resident for your practical exams the alarms in the hemodialysis machine to understand it better we will divide into four parts general alarm alarms patient vital related alarms third one is those related to blood circuit fourth one is those related to the dialysate circuit so these are all the four important alarms before going into the particular al alarms there are certain alarms once it is started blood pump will stop the blood pump which is there that will stop there are certain alarms where alarm will be glowing but pump will be rotating and there are color code also sometimes orange red green green is machine is functioning normally the orange and red are for indicating the visual representation of alarm suppose if in the unit 20 or more machines are there by sitting in the console only you can see which machine is having what issue so first one by one first patient vital related alarms in the monitor if the bp is high or low that you can set for example most of the unit we will set the bp higher level as 180 lower level as 90 if the patient blood pressure goes above or below that alarm will be ringing especially during the dialysis pulse also you can set if pulse goes above 100 below 60 pulse alarm will be ringing these are patient vital related second one is general related whenever there is a power shutdown whenever there is some problem in the machine itself it will give alarm troubleshooting alarm whatever it is it will be there if the power supply is not at all there yes obviously you will get to know when the machine is running power supply cut out it will give the alarm that check whether the power supply is there or not these are general now coming to the specific ones dialysate circuit related as you know this is the dialyzer this is the dialysate which is coming from part a part b and water all three are mixed and the dialysate is coming this is the dialysate circuit so what are all the alarms which will ring when there is a problem the most important most common is conductivity alarm conductivity is nothing but amount of the electrolytes in the final dialysate when it goes high or low conductivity alarm will ring what is the most common situation conductivity will change whenever this can is empty part a or part b can if it is empty or ro water supply is cut off for any reason or if this coupler is not placed correctly for whatever reason maybe conductivity goes down conductivity alarm will ring so first one in the dialysate alarms the second one is the blood leak alarm this is the dialysate the blood is here blood now we are starting the machine blood will come this side and the blood leak from this side to the dialysate side this will detect it and the alarm will be ringing so this is the second one which is blood leak alarm third one is the temperature alarm the dialysate will have a particular temperature for that there is a video already regarding the dialysate temperature when the dialysate temperature goes above or below the particular range then alarm will ring if the dialysate temperature changes so three most important alarms conductivity blood leak and temperature related to the blood sorry dialysate circuit three alarms now coming to the blood circuit alarms now the machine is being connected the blood circuit as a whole we can take from the patient to the pump from the pump to the dialyzer from the dialyzer back to the patient this constitutes the blood circuit in that heparin pump is also there blood pump is also there so whenever heparin pump is empty or not functioning alarm will be ringing first is the heparin pump alarm second one double thoughts blood pump if the blood pump if we open the cover alarm will ring which is called blood pump alarm any issue we open it blood pump alarm will be ringing the third one related to the pressure whether the 
from the patient blood is coming adequately or not these are called pressure alarm these alarms will tell us where might be the problem whether the patient is not able to supply the blood that means vascular access malfunctioning or catheter might be thrombosed the pressure will vary there are pressure monitors which will detect it suppose from the dialyzer if the blood is not going back to the patient because of some vascular access problem of course pressure will increase for example if the catheter is having thrombosis blood is not going inside the patient body normally alarm will start ringing that is pressure alarm the entire circuit from the patient to the blood pump blood pump to the dialyzer dialyzer back to the patient problem can be anywhere sometimes needle might be dislodged sometimes thrombosis everything can be detected through pressure monitors so grossly these are called pressure monitors or pressure alarms pressure alarm blood pump alarm heparin pump alarm three we have discussed the further most important one is the transmembrane pressure alarm blood compartment there is interruption in the video so we will continue that pressure difference between the blood compartment and the dialysate compartment is called the transmembrane pressure transmembrane pressure if it goes above or below a particular limit the alarm will start ringing this is called transmembrane pressure alarm so overall these are all the four alarms related to the blood circuit one is blood pump second one is heparin pump third one is even air detector alarm will be there these are the air detectors air detector alarm transmembrane pressure alarms this transmembrane pressure blood heparin air detector pressure five related to the blood circuit so here i have given you the summary of the alarms what are the alarms in the dialysis for the patient who are undergoing dialysis and in the dialysis machine also so to conclude the video if i have to tell the summary four alarms you can classify patient vital related general alarms dialysis circuit alarms and the blood circuit alarms in the patient vital bp and pulse in the general voltage and any troubleshooting in the dialysate important conductivity temperature and blood leak that leak can occur three in the blood circuit five pressure blood pump heparin pump air detector transmembrane pressure and all the pressure detector pressure is used to check whether the blood flow to the patient or blood supply from the patient is good or not so this concludes the video bye bye